Okay, can you hear me? All right, okay, great, great. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Um, the, the one with the slide? Okay, great, okay. Yeah, so um, just before um, before I start, um, let me just go through this with you guys. Um, yeah, so for Tickmail, uh, if you guys have an account with Tickmail, this is based on the tiers. And um, later on, if there are any unanswered um, questions that you guys want to ask me, um, instead of um, maybe you guys want to ask me about um, different pairs, etc. And if we have overrun the time, um, then we'll, you can always send a message through this um, VIP platform. Uh, whereas where you have a ac account, uh, maybe for bronze is $100, silver is $1,000, gold is $10,000, and platinum is $50,000. Um, you can definitely come on to the um, platform and then um, post your questions and um, we'll answer it through there. Yeah. Okay, just, um, just for your information. And if not, let's begin with our... Um, agenda for today. So let's just begin. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, welcome to our webinar series, where I'll, I'll be teaching you guys custom indicators and um, expert advisors. Okay, as usual guys, this is the disclaimer over here. Um, nothing should be construed as investment or trading advice, so please do your own due diligence before you guys trade, yeah? Okay, so moving on, I'm your host for today. My name is Woon Hong and I'll be going through with you the custom indicators and expert advisors. Okay, so for the agenda, what can we expect in today's session? Uh, we'll be going through four different sections, which is um, what are custom indicators on MT4 and MT5? And secondly, will be what are EAs and the, the various types of EAs and where do you find them? Okay, thirdly will be how do you um, actually backtest them? And fourthly will be um, how do you use them? Okay, so firstly, we'll be going through what are custom indicators on MT4 and MT5. So what are um, these custom indicators um, which I've always been saying for the past few minutes? So it's independently developed in uh, MetaCodes language 4 by a user, and it functions as a technical indicator. So graphical displays of custom calculator formulas. Um, later on, I'll be showing you guys um, different custom indicators that um, others, other users have actually created from scratch uh, on MT4 and MT5. And uh, usually the custom indicators are a um, factor whereby you are, is, is to help, is to assist you with trading. And usually um, for beginner traders, they would usually use um, different indicators such as maybe um, trend line indicators, um, uh, pivot point indicators, etc. Et so yeah, let's go to the example. So the first example is the custom automated daily slash weekly pivots indicator. So we can see from this is on MT4. Uh, we can see that there's a daily pivot right here. And then there's a weekly pivot also. And then there's a monthly pivot. So these um, pivot areas are whereby it's sort of key levels in a sense whereby the traders will see this line. Then they will know that, okay, maybe... Um, I'm looking for sell right here because it's where um, the daily is not able to break through this area and it's been making uh, multiple weeks over here. So this is where um, they know that, okay, since the indicator is giving me a signal to sort of sell here, means that price will actually um, pivot from this area uh, from bullish to bearish. Yeah, so for um, this indicator wise, it has weekly pivot, daily pivot and uh, monthly pivot. So next uh, will be custom all pivot points indicator. Uh, for this indicator wise, um, there's multiple pivot points and it, and it may actually look kind of um, complex to you guys, um, but it's actually kind of simple in a sense that um, if you know the all the settings of the indicator itself, uh, you'll be able to understand uh, what, what each indicator means and the settings of each indicator. So, uh, for this indicator, this PP stands for pivot point, then this S1, S2, S3, and S4 are the support 
lines. So S1 stands for support one, S2 support two, and so on and so forth. And for R1 will be resistance one. Then uh, as you can see, all these lines, all these red lines over here, um, there are many, many red lines and some don't make sense. For example, you see these uh, red lines over here. So uh, this just shows that um, not all indicators are always perfect. Um, there are some flaws in indicators, but nonetheless, um, some indicators, custom indicators actually do work. And uh, you can see um, there's, uh, here is the pivot point, um, support one, support two, support three. So it's just indicating that, okay, for resistance wise, if maybe price reaches here, so current price, current price is uh, at this pivot point right here. So it already crossed the pivot point. So where do you look next? So for this indicator, you're looking at this resistance one area. And if it reaches this res resistance one, it shows that the indicator is telling you to sell at this area because it may actually um, hit the resistance point and this um, particular trader may actually um, look for a sell here, yeah? As for support wise, just means that um, uh, if price comes down here, then uh, you'll take a buy over here. And uh, you just need to be careful about indicators because indicators are not actually um, always right. There are definitely flaws in it, okay? So moving on, uh, one of the other, com uh, this is the example of a complex custom indicator. So this is a combination of different indicators um, such as the uh, moving average trend and then um, ADX trend strength and lastly will be higher time frame candlestick strength. So this um, indicator itself is a three-in-one combination and you can definitely find such indicators um, out there in the market but um, it's definitely more costly than um, normal indicators and EAs because um, these indicators combine different confluences to ensure that the trader only takes a trade if all three um, indicators suggest the same um, bias. So for example, if this is um, buy, so for example, we can see that this area right, oh sorry, this area right here, uh, it, the price has actually crossed the uh, moving averages um, lines. So actually cross three of it, the I'm guessing is the 50, SF, uh, 50 moving average, um, 200 moving average and uh, 250 moving average. Yeah. Uh, as for this um, ADS trend strength, we can see that, okay, this uh, trend strength, it just shows that on the daily, it's actually bearish, but on the H4, it's actually bullish. So this is, um, uh, it's starting that is actually bearish in the long run, but um, here says bullish. And lastly, what we can see here is that the candlestick is all bullish. So if you can see that all the candlestick is bullish, and then you can see that MA crossover has already happened. So if you are confident enough, um, it's actually two out of three of the uh, requirements of taking a buy trade here. So the trader will actually uh, want to take a buy trade. And not to mention that um, this indicator also includes a um, trend strength. So you can see that um, it's turning bullish right now. So you have already three out of four. So I believe that three out of four, which is 75%, uh, means that um, you, you should actually take the trade, um, but risk maybe slightly lesser. Um, if it's four or four, then uh, go ahead and, and take the trade, yeah. Okay, next I'll be going through with you guys, um, what are expert advices? So in short, EAs. So what are EAs? Uh, EAs are developed in uh, Metacode's language 4 and 5, which is MQL 4 and 5. And it's a software that automates trading functions based on algorithms. So it notifies traders of trading opportunities and suggests traded um, trades that can be profitable. So um, basically saying that EAs are more, is a more convenient way for traders um, that, are, that cannot spend a lot of time charting because um, if you were to trade manually, you will have to spend um, quite some time learning about the markets and to um, trade manually. Yeah, because you have to understand the markets, look at candlesticks and trends, etc. right? Yeah, so um, EAs actually makes life easier in the sense that it automates everything. So what are the various types of expert advisors? 
So the various types of EAs would be scalping EA, news trading EA, breakouts EA, and lastly, hedging EA. So for scalping EA, um, if you ask me, I have only tried um, scalping EA and news trading EA because um, breakouts EA and hedging EA are more uh, complicated in a sense, and I can share with you guys my experience later on uh, uh, how I actually used uh, EA to start my journey in trading, if you guys are actually curious. Okay, so for um, automatic, automatic trading EA, you can see that um, it's fully automated and basically the bot itself, um, this EA, will actually take trades based off um, its own settings and then um, it actually automates everything for the trader. You can see that price, uh, it shows lot size 0 0.01, um, what is the take profit, stop loss, um, uh, I have no idea what is this magic number, 1, 2, 3, maybe just one of the settings. And then um, it, will show, it shows you all the account details. And then um, spread zero, it, will, it shows the spreads as well. And then the bot will actually take trades based off its own uh, settings. For example, uh, following trends, um, breakouts, hedging, scalping, etc. Okay. So another another automatic trading EA will be this EA. So this, uh, if you can see here, the name suggests um, breakout EA. So this EA only follows um, if there's a breakout of um, certain key levels. So for this EA, uh, we can see that I believe this is the resistance level and this is the support level. So you can see price is within this range. So if it actually breaks out of this key level, it will take a buy trade. And then if it breaks down this level, it will take a, a sell trade because you are only trading the breakouts. <clears throat> Would you be able to share some of the EA that you are using? Oh yeah, sure. Um, so uh, I'll be sharing with you guys uh, my past experience of using an EA and different EAs that I, um, I used previously, but I'm not using any EA right now because um, I trade manually. And my suggestion is that EAs can only help you in the short run and not in the long run. Uh, and you definitely want to be able to learn more about the markets itself because EAs um, are not that reliable and may actually cause you to lose money in the long run. Uh, yeah. Okay, so later I'll be going through with you guys um, my experience with EA. Okay, so um, next, uh, another automatic trading EA that I show you guys that i'll be showing you guys will be um this ea called dark venus uh, i'm not sure if it's still operating now um but this was maybe um quite some time back and if i'm not wrong this ea is uh more of following the trends and uh, let me just search it up later on if it's still operating because i've tried it once and i used it for maybe uh, a few days and i stopped using it because it was actually not taking um, that many trades and I prefer um, scalping EAs because scalping EAs, uh, it takes trades maybe every five minutes while this EA usually takes trades every one hour or every four hours or maybe don't even take any trades at all. Yeah. So if you're curious, so where do you find these EAs? Okay, so the first um, place that you can find these EAs would be the MetaTrader market page. So um, you can definitely fly, find a lot of um, these EAs from M MQ5 itself. So if you, um, later on, I can show you guys um, what I mean by that because I've searched a lot of EAs in the past and uh, I definitely have <clears throat> a lot of experience whereby um, the EAs just don't work as well as what they're promoting. So um, my tip for you guys is that you should only purchase from sellers with excellent reviews. Um, for example, you can see all these little um, five stars or four and a half stars, etc. And you can see the reviews from uh, other customers itself. Um, also, um, do not be fooled by their advertisements. Um, I'm pretty sure, I, I'm not sure if you guys actually see um, EAs being promoted on uh, Instagram, on Google, on maybe YouTube. Or, uh, I'm not sure whether you guys have experienced that, but I definitely have seen a lot of EAs out there um, that are being promoted in a sense that um, they're just lying to you guys and they're not 
uh, what the EA, the, whatever that they are saying is not what the EA can do. Yeah. So, uh, however, on MQ5 platform, you are able to test um, these um, EAs on demo accounts. And then you can maybe try it for a day or a week. I think the maximum will be 24 or 48 hours, um, if I'm not wrong. Some are more generous, um, whereby they let you try it for a week on demo accounts uh, and not on real, like, or, or not, not on real accounts. Yeah. Okay, so for Fiverr wise, um, you can engage a coder if you have a specific strategy for your custom EA. And also, um, if you if you want a rev a, a revenue stream, you can white label you can do a white label service after like licensing your custom EA. So what I mean by that is that, um, basically you hire a coder to code your whole EA, and then you sell it to um you license you hire another person to license this um EA itself. So maybe the coding process, if it's not too complicated, on the market price for on Fiverr would be maybe two hundred to. 300 US, USD and then for licensing wise um, to license this whole thing this whole EA would be maybe um, 150 to 200 USD yeah so uh, let me just tell you guys about my experience on uh, Fiverr so basically I had this um, um, strategy so this strategy is basically uh, a trend following strategy uh, provided your EA is damn good yeah yeah that's true <coughs> um so uh, previously I had this strategy. I don't mind sharing with you guys. Um, later on, I'll just show you in short what my strategy is about. Um, so basically I had this strategy um, and I believe that, uh, oh, that, oh, that was the start of my um, trading journey. And I literally had no clue about um, Forex at all. And I only watched YouTube videos and then came up with like a uh, strategy because I combined um, different, uh, different indicators and <clears throat> and I've read, uh, I, I read up a lot on uh, Forex, but I didn't know how to trade it manually. So I just thought about uh, why not I just go to Fiverr since uh, Fiverr has a lot of coders. And uh, when I searched, um, Fiverr has this, um, let me show you guys. Uh, so um, let me just show you guys uh, this. Uh, what is it? Uh, Okay, so um, basically, if you see here, there's this uh, option whereby it's Fiverr's choice. And then you can see, I will quote a Forex EA expert as an advisor bot, auto bot for you, MT4, MT5. So um, last time, I actually um, hired another person to quote for me. And then uh, they will basically listen to, um, you can have a call with them and basically opt for different pricing. So mine was about 250 USD. So I'm I hired I hired the I opted for the more um uh premium package because I believe that um um cheap not good good not cheap right so um if I hired, if I did the standard package uh I wouldn't be able to uh code um the strategy properly because it's quite complicated and basically uh you can see if you have any larger needs, um, better call us, that kind of thing. So um, if your strategy is rather complicated, you can call them and um, basically have a talk with them and they'll understand your needs. And yeah, so um, basically what I did was I hired a coder. I coded the strategy and then uh, and asked him if it is viable or not. So we did a couple of changes. And then after I got the bot itself, I, I definitely had to try it myself, right? So I tried it myself. Then um, I felt that it, it worked for uh, quite some time. So I back tested it for maybe um, two weeks. Then every day it was averaging maybe about uh, for a thousand dollars, I know for a 500 USD account, uh, it was actually averaging about uh, easy 50 USD per day with, um, with a medium risk setting. So uh, 50 USD a day, a day, which is 10% a day, so it was quite ridiculous because the markets um, pre-COVID was um, pretty decent. So the bot itself was actually running uh, quite well. Um, and it was, the, just the, the downside of it was that you had to, um, you have to um, be 
careful of the drawdown. So um, the board was actually in drawdown for quite a bit. I think the highest drawdown was maybe um, 25%. So 25% is quite quite high, if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, just for that little um, just for that maybe 10 to 15% profit. So I had to be in a drawdown of uh, maximum 30%. Yeah. So uh, after that, I actually sold to quite a few clients, but I realized that in the long run, um, the board isn't really going to make you um, that much money because um, the board will always have its flaws. And uh, after, after covering back the cost of the board and uh, profiting maybe um, 20 to 30%, then the board started to um, lag. So the board started taking lesser trades. Um, the board started to um, not perform as well. Because um the market change changes over time, right? Like uh, market structure um will always change here and there. Yeah, so uh it's pretty it's pretty difficult to um run a bot in the long run and having to make consistent profits. Yeah, so um but if you're confident about a long time long term strategy, maybe you can uh, consider this option. So it can be maybe your side income, etc. Yeah. So um, that's my advice for you guys, if you are confident enough to um, sell bots to other people. But um, you have to remember that, uh, just a tip, if you guys want to do that, uh, a, usually a single bot cannot be used on two separate um, accounts with different IDs. So if, uh, if you do that, the bot will actually um, not perform the way it is supposed to perform. Uh, because when I did, when I did this, um, last time, when I actually coded the bot, I tried it on two different accounts and the bot actually uh, complicated its settings and didn't know which account to take the trades in. So it's just to um, prevent you from uh, making this mistake. So uh, it's best if you can um, create a, a duplicate bot and then it's, it's not that difficult. It's, you just have to change the, the key, the licensing key yeah, for the bot itself. Yeah, so that's just my recommendation for you guys because I've actually experienced this before and there were a lot of complications. Uh, so basically, if you sell it to other people and then she said that, oh, the bot isn't performing like the way it's supposed to because uh, maybe the someone else is actually using that um, licensing key. Yeah, okay. So um, the third option, is Forex Factory website. So Forex Factory website actually um, shows you all the free expert advisors, indicators that everyone is sharing with uh, the public. Um, but all these free expert advisors um, usually don't work as well because um, they usually have basic settings. And uh, even for beginner traders, you maybe spend like a few hours to learn about it. You can definitely even learn about uh, what the bot does and you can just trade it normally. Yeah. So you can see here, uh, let me just swap this screen. So they said, um, I'm listing it here for free. So I don't want to see it for sale anywhere. So usually when people say all these things, uh, you may be a bit um, skeptical about it because it's definitely too good to be true, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, just need to be careful of what you download on uh, whichever website, usually um, MQL5 Marketplace is the safest or yeah, um, usually just, just don't download these free ones because um, I mean, if you guys want to explore it, you can explore it, but um, just be careful about um, all these free EAs and indicators. Yeah. Okay. So um, lastly, just Google and you can find uh, on MQL5, see, they show you um, MQL5 Marketplace, um, forex correct all these um don't um just don't trust all these um forex correct or uh, or uh, all these um websites because you may not know what they what they are giving you to download uh they may actually be um malware etc so please be careful about all this yeah and um do your own due diligence and uh, research about all these eas and what does it do to understand more instead of just blindly um diving into um, this EA market. Okay, so I'll be moving on to how do you use them. So basically, you just um, you just download the EA. So for example, you really have a you bought an EA or you download the free EA, then you double click the expert advisor that you want to use. 
So for example, um, we choose the dark Venus. Okay, so we double click it and then it will show you this, um, they will show you a pop-up whereby you can see all the um, settings of the uh, expert advisor, but you can also see the common inputs. So for example, you see long and short positions, enable alerts, live trading. Okay, so for EAs, this option is very um, important. This and this allow DLL imports means um, you are doc, uh, for this option is to show that uh, all the settings of the board can be imported into um, uh, MT4, MT5. Yeah, then uh, allow modifications of signal settings. So it means that you can modify all the settings in the for the board. Yeah. So once done, uh, you'll see the whole EA, and then uh, you can see your your uh, account balance, equity, profit and loss, um, journal percentage, spread, your lot size, etc. I think for this board, if you if you say start lot size, right? Um, usually it will be it will mean that um this board will actually do something like martingale means that okay if you are you start from zero point zero one, then uh if it's if it's losing then it will increase to zero point zero two zero point zero four zero point zero eight that kind, yeah. So usually these bots are martingale bots are not recommended because uh you need a large account size in order to hold that many trades and uh for that big of a lot size. Okay, so next will be how do you backtest them? So basically, how do you backtest them? You can see on if you go if you click into your MT4, you can see this um little button with the um magnifying glass. Yeah, magnifying glass. Um, just beside new order. Yeah, then you can click on it, and then uh, it's basically the strategy tester button, and. Uh, this option is not available in the mobile version of MT4 and MT5 because um, this is only done, this can only be done on the computer version. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh. Hold on, guys. I got a question. Uh, oh, um, later on, I'll, I'll answer. Let me just go through with you guys first. Later on, I'll have a Q&A session um, for uh, towards the end. Yeah. Okay, so once you're inside, you can see um, this, uh, this option. So you can see the name of your EA and then uh, the symbol means that uh, which pair do you want to test it on? And then the model, um, usually you'll choose the every take, the most precise method based on all available least time frames. Then you use date, uh, basically just choose um, uh, about five to eight years is good enough, okay? Then uh, your period, you can choose um, based off your own bot's um, requirements. For example, uh, if this is a, let's see, uh, maybe this bot is based on trends. So um, H1, H4, etc. Then your spread, spread will follow the current market. And then uh, you press start. So once you press start, you will actually load all the way. Once you see this green thing, then you finish loading. So yeah. Then uh, results tab, uh, it will actually show you what the bot um, did. So buy, 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 close, close, close. So you can see uh, the number of profit and loss. So actually this bot is profitable because um, the, it has only lost one trade. So which is a small, um, small loss of uh, $1.18. Then the biggest profit is um, 3.24. There you can see the graph. You can see that uh, it was actually pretty going up in a, um, uh, not a very steep slope, but it's um, pretty still, just that it had a major drop right here, whereby it was actually in profit. Uh, yeah, it was in profit and then it dipped um, quite a bit. Yeah, so this is, um, and then it went back all the way up and then it continued, um, uh, going profits consistently, yeah. Then, uh, lastly, for the report tab, the report tab is where you see um your whole EA whether it's uh, profitable, and the drawdown, and um how many wins and losses um that it actually made. So you can see, uh, initial deposit is a one million dollars account, so total net profit is um uh, five hundred dollars. So means that it's 
uh, profitable, then you can see the absolute drawdown means that the the um, the drawdown that the board was in, the highest drawdown was uh, 1.8k. Okay, so it took 523 trades in total. And then uh, gross profit was uh, 1.5k. And then maximal drawdown is this amount. Yeah, so you can see um, usually for the maximal drawdown, uh, usually just because the, the, um, the account size is uh, really huge, which is 1 million, so um, if it's maybe um, 10K account, the drawdown is actually 21%. Yeah, so it's actually quite a big uh, amount. But uh, this plot is actually pretty stable. Uh, you can see consecutive wins, um, 19. So it actually won, it actually won um, 19 times in a row and then consecutive profit um, total up to $795. So you can see gross loss, uh, thousand uh, fifteen. So you cancel out the net profit is five hundred dollars, and then you can see um here, uh let me see uh long duration stop loss trades, uh one profit trades. Okay, so you can see the profit trades is four hundred four, and the loss trades is one one nine. So um, if you even it out, I think the win percentage is maybe about a 50 plus percent 60 percent yeah uh, okay so yeah uh, and you can see consecutive losses um 12 but um the losses basically is all being covered up um, from the profits itself okay uh, yeah so basically um this whole ea idea right uh it actually stems from some traders being lazy and not wanting to um, trade it manually or maybe just um, beginner or amateur traders that um, don't really want to do it manually but just want to do it uh, automatically because uh, when I actually did this uh, auto trading back in uh, 20... How many years has it been? Uh, 2020? I think early 2020. Uh, I was actually just started, I just started learning about Forex and didn't know what was Forex at all. I just read through, um, watched some YouTube videos and then uh, I decided, oh, actually, why not just do a bot, right? Um, since the bot may actually help me to make money. Um, but overall, if you want consistent profits, right, uh, I would suggest learning more about manual trading. Uh, start from the basics and then uh, slowly learning a lot more rather than just diving into auto trading because uh, if you were to rely too much on auto trading, it is actually not that good for you guys. Yeah. So uh, let me just show you guys. Uh, oh yeah, so um, that's the end of the um, EA section whereby I, I'm not, uh, yeah, um, there isn't anything else much to cover, um, but just, yeah, um, so now just ask me any questions that you guys uh, want to ask. Okay, so one of the question would be, um, does a candlesticks EA work on main candlesticks pattern? Uh, which is interesting is, what is interesting is to automate automatic amounts. Um, okay, so um, Karim, uh, I'm not sure what the, EA, candlesticks EA does, but uh, let me just, okay, let me just um, search on it. Okay, give me, is it to identify, um, okay, let me see. Uh, maybe we should, Oh, okay, so, okay, Martin, okay, so just a tip for you guys. If they said martingale, grid, averaging, or other dangerous techniques are not used, means it's a stable EA because um, you want to avoid um, EAs that actually use martingale, grid, and uh, yeah, just martingale and grid because um, martingale is basically, if you are in a loss, you just double your lot size. Um, it's basically just um, gambling and it's not advisable. As for greed, um, greed is just 
uh, out of the question. Uh, if you guys um, later on, maybe after this webinar, you guys can search more about um, um, grid uh, EAs. It's actually uh, very dangerous and the drawdown is actually quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, so for Karim, um, basically your, um, your question. Uh, okay. Um, uh, basically for candlesticks EAs, right? Uh, it doesn't work. 100% of the time where it can identify uh, 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 candlesticks properly. So um, this is, um, okay, so guys, this is a current question. Uh, does a candlestick EA work on main candlesticks patterns? So uh, to answer that, um, it's actually pretty difficult for EAs to uh, work 100% on candlestick patterns. Uh, it may actually identify for you uh, Wait, let me see. Let me see if can you can see this. Um, okay. Okay, there are no images, but I think what is this? Um, okay, let me see if there are any images right here. Oh, okay. So I think right, um, for this EA wise, uh, whenever it identifies a pattern of the candlestick, then it will um, show buy or sell uh, wherever. So you can see this example, maybe it's a uh, um, three white um, so, uh, soldiers, means that uh, it's bullish, right? So uh, after three candles, then it will tell you to, okay, um, the EA will show a line and say, okay, I want you to um, buy here. So you just um, uh, enter a buy trade blindly. So uh, I mean, it's doable if it's actually profitable, uh, maybe you can explore it, but uh, yeah, try to uh, explore it on. I'm, I'm not sure if they allow you to explore it on demo account. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so you, you guys can see this um, free demo, this free demo um, button. So just click it and maybe you can see uh, what, what it does on the demo account. And then uh, if you want, you can try it for three months. It's just a short. It's just a small amount of 30 USD. Yeah, don't bother trying all those maybe a thousand plus. You can see thousand, one, five thousand. Uh, look at this, five thousand. And then it has only 3.5 um, star review. So don't waste your money on that. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Um, okay, so the next question is, um, what programming language is best to learn if I want to build Auto trading strategy from scratch by myself. Oh, uh, okay. So for um, okay. So Jake, that's a very good question. Uh, let me let me uh, let me show you guys. Uh, uh, sorry. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. There are two different. Um, okay, so let me see. Okay, so yeah, C++, uh, but you have to remember for, if you want to only do it for M, M, uh, MT4, right, um, it's C++, but MT5 is a, a more complicated version of C++. I mean, I've tried, um, they have a set of files. Um, uh, yeah, if I'm not wrong, wait, let me show you guys. I've I searched on this before. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, there are a lot of templates and then there's a lot of um, APIs uh, for you to uh, implement into your um, auto trading, um, but it's quite complicated. So I suggest um, not to spend so much time learning into it. Um, just if you can spend maybe a few hundred dollars, uh, you can code, uh, you can hire a coder for you, which, which will make your life so much easier um, because time is money, right? Yeah. So, uh, but if if you are co you if you have a coding background, uh, you can you can definitely explore this um option, and I think there's a lot of um YouTube uh tutorials on how you can how you can use the MQL APIs. Yeah. So, if to answer your question, Jake, uh, I believe C is the answer to that. Yeah. Uh. If you want to do indicators on trading view, is a whole other thing. So, um, let 
today. Okay, so um, Trading View is a little bit different. You use, you use something like a Pine Script, but you cannot um, code e you cannot use code EAs on Trading View, but only indicators. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a whole uh, YouTube uh, video on how you can code and uh, yeah, just that it'll take quite some time uh, because you have to learn all about the length, smoothing, you see all these variables, it's very complicated, yeah. Okay, so um, the next question is, um, I just want so, yeah, Karim prefers to set a repeatable stop loss amount he once saw a trader presentation that showed a program to use to create an EA pretty easily, but for now I do not get the program's name. Oh, um, okay. Usually, uh, usually for EAs, right? Um, people will give false promotions about it. Um, the best, I believe, the best option, uh. You can you should only trust someone, right? If they manage to show you from uh what do you call it? A, okay. Yeah, you can only trust someone if um they actually show all their data on uh, my FX book and then this shows uh, how much their percentage gains, uh how good is their EA working and make sure there is a live account instead of like a demo account. Uh, yeah. What was the indicator you had in the beginning of this talk? A multi time frame trend. Oh, okay. So, um, okay. So for trading view, right? Okay. Let's go to trading view. Okay. Let me just log, log out of this and Okay, so let's just log out this and maybe just use this. Okay, so um, trading view, there's many, many different indicators. So uh, you can see here from here, let's, let me just um, click here. Okay, so this is where you find all the indicators that you want. And let me just show you, uh, okay, I think it's called, Okay, so there's this thing when I was a beginner trader, I actually use this and it's quite cute. So yeah, uh, it's a combination. Okay, so they have um, little, little areas whereby they tell you to buy and sell. Okay, so these are what indicator does. They tell you, okay, um, <clears throat> I want, let me see if I can, if I can do a replay you just one USD. Okay. So let's say we are at price is here now, right? So um you can see if I think this indicator is a uh, basically wait, let me okay. Just click overall train. Nope. Nope. Uh, Display indicator. Okay. Okay. So you see this this indicator is so cute, right? They tell you to sell and buy with a alligator logo. So um, there's different uh, indicators. So for this one, uh, this alligator's indicator, right? So you can see this cute little crocodile. So. <laughs> Uh, they tell you to sell and buy here. So uh, it's based on the alligator um, indicator. So alligator indicator, um, uh, if you guys uh, want to learn more, it's actually uh, quite an interesting indicator itself. And this signals just shows, um, uh, tell you to sell and buy, but it's not very accurate. So usually that time I offed it indicator signals yeah okay so let me just play and and then we'll see um in real time whether the signals will pop out or not yeah so, okay so now we are in a bullish trend right so let me just play 
So you can see. Let me see if, if the signal actually pops up. Okay, so from here, right? If I if I zoom, if I go down to maybe one hour. Okay, if I go down to one hour, then let me just uh, replay for you guys. So I think this indicator it just shows that, okay, if um if price starts to um hover below all <coughs> all these three lines, right? You see these three lines here. All these three lines come here, then um, price will actually start to sell. So if you if you just follow this indicator blindly, I think if you backtest this indicator, maybe you you can profit quite a bit if you hold your trades, because I see that. Uh, let me just see. Zero point three times. Okay, let me just play. You can see, price is now here, and then you sell by. Uh, wait for the signal. So the signal will come out. Okay. Let me just okay okay so once this signal comes then you once the signal sell signal comes right see this signal okay you see this signal it says sell so let's say if you sell here you just follow this signal blindly right you sold here your stop loss definitely pays up you see this signal it shows you this high you place it above this high Okay, with 62 pips. Okay, then where should your target be? Your target can be maybe either one is to one or one is to two. So let's just fix it as one is to two. And let's just see if it actually hits the target itself. Okay. Uh, let me just play it. Okay, let's see if we fix it at one is to two. Let's see how price actually reacted. Then slowly, slowly, if you hold your trade, just fix it at one is to two. Okay, then you actually hear take profit just like that. So this kind of indicator sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let me sh just show you guys. Um, uh, I'm not I'm not saying to ask you guys to um use this indicator, um, but. Um, such indicators are more reliable because it's based off a trend. And if you look at um, daily time frame, I'm not sure if it follows um, the daily time frame better, but uh, yeah, so you can see, uh, yeah, you see if you buy here, um, it broke out, that's why it bought, right? But this indicator is wrong because if you, if you did that, if you bought here, the stop loss put below the uh maybe um the low right here, you will have easily stop um you will have easily just hit your stop loss. Yeah, so it's best if you know what the indicator does and its own uh market structure as well. So that's how you understand uh whether the EA will actually work or not. I uh, mean for this scenario, you can see sell here. And then it, it looks like a very nice sell, right? Because um, if you see market structure, highs, lows, lows, high, then uh, lower high, then this low, 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 then lower high, then lower low, right? So market structure is um, quite beautiful in this scenario. So if they try to sell here, then it makes more sense to sell since it actually um, aligns with your own um, confluences as well. Yeah. So um, sometimes EAs work and sometimes EA doesn't. But let's say, let's say I draw a fib, right? And then it lines super nicely with the 38.2%. So I say, okay, if it lines very nicely with my FIBO and it's below these um, three lines, right? Then the e indicator also tells me to sell. Then why not just do it, right? So sometimes uh, uh, you can use such indicators to your advantage because um, it's pretty good in a sense that um, they will tell you where you should buy, sell, but you should also learn about Forex also so that you can be adept uh, in these kind of situations and to... Um, 
uh, be careful of where you actually um, buy and sell. Don't buy and sell blindly because it's um, not very good in a sense. Yeah, so uh, uh, Digby, um, the previous indicator that uh, I was actually using just now is just an example. Uh, but I did, I do, I'm not too sure about um, its functionalities, etc. because it's an uh, example. But I can use this, um, this dollar god just to an uh, example for you guys. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to explore indicators, just feel free to click on these um, indicators. Or you can see community scripts. Uh, usually there are some where there are a lot of likes. And then those are the ones that maybe you can uh, trust. Yeah, so um, yeah. Uh, let's see, let me show you a very popular one. So let's see, uh, ICT Q zones. So ICT is a inner circle trader. So it's very popular in a sense that uh, a lot of people are using this for uh, uh, smart money concepts. So I'm not sure if you guys know about smart money concepts, but uh, let's see, time frame limit 30 minutes. Okay. So if you're on, oh, this is cool. Okay, you can see all these different different names, right? Uh, they you if you go to the uh details of the let me see if I can go to the details. Settings, uh, no. so it's um New York AM, New York, New York AM, New York low, New York PM, etc. So these kind of um indicators are more complicated. So um try to avoid them unless you actually know the backstory of it. And yeah, you can definitely search for all the different indicators, etc. And you can learn from uh, all the other people that are doing YouTube videos, um, uh, research as well when you're doing all this, uh, when you're searching out about indicators or expert advisors. Yeah, so um, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, any last question before I end this session? Okay, advice where to find recording for today and past Monday webinar. Uh, wait, uh, hold on. I think, uh, I think Tickmail's website uh, will be posting the recordings because uh, usually uh, I seldom do uh, Tickmail webinars, but I think they'll be posting it on uh, their website itself. Uh, later on, I'll ask my colleague and uh, yeah, um, we are not able to locate since weeks ago. Okay, no worries. I'll, I'll check on, on this and uh, in the next webinar, uh, just um, Peggy also could not locate as well. Oh, Peggy, uh, that, does, does it, uh, is she able to locate for the Taiwan or, or the Taiwan is not able to locate as well? Um, because if the Taiwan is able to locate, I think the Singapore, uh, I think the English one is able to be located as well. Okay, don't worry, Richard. Okay, um, let me ask, let me ask um, Desmond and see, and maybe if you attend the next one, uh, I'll, I'll let them know because uh, it should be able to locate. Yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll follow it to them and uh, let them know that um, we have this issue, okay? We can write PyScript and link it to a live account. Do you recommend doing this or using EA on? Uh, okay, for PyScript, right? Um, it works on trading view, and you should only do it on trade. You can only do it on trading view, and then um, you use your phone or computer to trade uh, separately. So trading view is just to see the indicator, uh, where you should buy and sell, and then after that you can you should only enter manually on MT four MT five. Okay, uh, for uh, Jin Tiong. Yeah. Uh okay, I found it on YouTube under Masterclass Stick Mail. Okay, uh Richard, maybe you can um uh maybe you can see it on uh Tick Mail's YouTube, see if you can uh locate it. If not, but don't worry, I'll follow it to um the rest and uh just join in the next webinar and maybe the uh I'll I'll tell them to let you know or uh, let everyone else know about the um this issue. Yeah. Okay. Okay, alrighty.
Okay, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in the next webinar. And I hope you guys enjoyed this session. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, I hope you learn more about uh, indicators and custom EAs. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next webinar. I enjoyed um, sharing, you, sharing, sharing with you guys uh, my experience for indicators and EAs. Okay. Uh, all right. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.